Welcome back to Move It. I'm at Seagrid Corporation in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is a company that grew out of the robotic laboratories of Carnegie Mellon University, also here in Pittsburgh. They're the folks that bring you things like Mars rovers. But instead of exploring places like Mars, these robotic industrial trucks explore warehouses. Well, not exactly explore, because they already know where they're going. That's because these robots combine pre-programmed routes with a vision guidance system that uses cameras to help them recognize where they're at. USA Corporation is one of the firms employing these robot workers. USA's manufacturing plant in Washington Courthouse, Ohio, makes rubber components used in automobiles. Stuff like engine mounts, bushings, and suspension components. Its biggest customer is a nearby Honda automotive assembly plant. Over 50 production cells make the rubber components that are then packed into cartons. The parts next have to be moved to storage until the customer needs them. That transfers a pretty mundane task that a forklift driver used to perform, driving back and forth all day, taking parts from manufacturing to the warehouse. But now that's where the robotic industrial trucks come in. Once the product is ready, a worker known as a Wrangler moves the robot into position under the load. He then enters a programmed route into the keypad and sends the robot on its way by simply pushing a button. As it moves, the vision guidance system looks for familiar surroundings that the robot has learned to recognize, such as racks and beams, to make sure that it's on course. So they're sort of like seeing eye robots. When the robot gets to the warehouse, it deposits its load at a pre-assigned location, where a worker will move it into the storage racks. The parts will be held in storage for just a day or two before heading off to an automotive plant. Meanwhile, our robotic friends head back to the production cells to gather more products, sometimes taking empty pallets back with them. So how do these robotic machines get along with our human co-workers? Uh, the initial reaction was that we couldn't believe that a robot could do what a forklift operator could do, and it's keeping us pretty busy, so we were quite surprised and impressed on the amount of freight that it could move off the floor in such little time. I can depend on the robot bringing this material, what we call finished goods, back to the warehouse. I can concentrate on my duties back here and uh, things get done quicker and, and uh, a lot better. We've been able to see a significant um, decrease in manpower uh, needed to transfer the material, so that's one savings. We've been able to decrease the number of leases that we have on forklifts, that's another savings. We don't have a lot of time um, waiting for somebody to retrieve the material. And we've also seen a, an increase in our floor space. And unlike manned forklifts, 